this is how you can make a hold button in Unity. Let's see how it works. So I'm holding the O key here, and when it fills up all the way, we can see on the right side, hold performed, and you can do whatever you want. And if I release before it gets to the end, nothing happens. So how do we do this? For this, we're gonna use the new input system and register a hold action right here. You can see that I created, gave it a hold action name, added an interaction, you can press this plus key here, press on hold, and you can set the hold time that you prefer. And then you're gonna bind it to your favorite bindings. In this case, I used O on keyboard, the B key on a Xbox gamepad, and just because I wanted to try that too, this is a modifier that allows me to have this interaction when pressing two keys at the same time. In this case, left shoulder and A key on this Xbox controller. Okay, make sure to have this interaction section selected or created. Next, we're gonna look at the scripts. So I got a very simple input manager script that is attached here to my player input component where I drag in the input actions. And the only thing that it does is it exposes the input action right here. Just make sure that this string right here matches the name that you gave it here. This is how I made the prefab. There's a background circle the, that you can see just slightly. Then there's the fill part, which as you can see, fills up like this. Then there's the inner circle, uh, which you just put there because I think it looks better because if we remove it, when you move the fill around, that's what it looks like. It's not the best. And then I put some text to show the O key that I'm pressing to activate this. Let's take a look at the script. Okay, here we get a reference to the fill image. So this one, and then we got an action field. Basically we set it from the game manager through this method right here. Uh, the most important part here is probably this. So in the update loop, what I'm doing is setting the fill amount to the result of get time on completion percentage. Basically this function returns a value between zero and one based on how long I was pressing the button compared to the maximum duration before it fires the performed event. And last, I have this game manager script that basically ties input and the button together. Uh, at start, in this case, I just connect the hold action to the, my button, and then I also subscribe to the perform callback and print something to screen, and this is where you would wanna do whatever you wanna do. And that's it. I'm gonna maybe quickly go through my scene so you can see how I tie it all together. So I got my ma game manager screen right here. Input manager has this player input component that comes with the um, new input system. This is my input manager script. Uh, here you can see how I set the button prefab. Uh, and that's it.